Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my first Blender tutorial. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make low poly Roblox terrain. Um, this is going to be a very beginner friendly video, just so you guys can just um, follow along and yeah. We're going to start off by clicking on our cube and uh, deleting it. Uh, then we want to press shift A and spawn in a cylinder. Uh, in this little uh, tab at the bottom, we want to make this, let's say, 8 vertices. It's going to give us 8 sides on the cylinder. Alright, so I'm just going to go in my front face mode. I'm going to press tab. And you want to go in your face select mode and click the top of the cylinder. I'm going to go back to my face select mode. Now you want to press E to extrude and then press S to scale. So it's going to sort of look like this. Then you want to press E again, and it's going to sort of give you that top half. Um, now, that would be just super simple way to make the terrain, but we're going to make it like a little bit cooler, I guess. So let's say we want this to be a bit thicker. We can do Control R. It's going to create a loop cut, and we're just going to put it in there. Um, now, if you want to select the loop cut, just hold Alt and click on the line. You gotta go on light select mode. And we're just gonna press S to scale. So you can like scale this however you want. I'm gonna scale it just out a bit. And that looks pretty cool. Um we can also like bevel the top, but like there's really no need. It might look a bit cooler. It's gonna do it. Okay, so now we got basic Roblox terrain. And it's pretty much all you need for terrain. You can obviously add any other thing you want. Uh, you can just like add another bevel here, of course. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. It's a pretty simple beginner tutorial. So, you might be asking how do we actually make it like texture and stuff, how to make it look good. Um, if you guys want, you can also shade smooth. You just uh, right click, shade smooth. It, it kind of looks weird. I don't, I don't really like it. You can shade flat. So we want these to be two different parts. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into wireframe mode up here. It's kind of just, yeah, gives us like kind of an X-ray mode. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna sh uh, just drag, and you wanna select all of these, even these uh, bottom ones here, and that would just, yeah, make sure you've selected everything. Once you've done that, press P and press selection. This basically makes it into two different parts as you can see here and to actually texture this we're gonna go into UV editing and this is basically how to do cool gradients and stuff in blender um, now we need an actual image to do this from you can join my discord server below and get this color palette download it from my uh, discord and just click on the color palette we're gonna use this one um, Okay, so we have different colors here. Now the way we actually do this is we have to click on the object we want to color. So let's just do the top of the terrain. Let's, <clears throat> let's press tab to go into edit mode. Now press A to select all. And as you can see, it's kind of over here. But it looks kind of weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to go project from view. Uh, we're going to press U. Then we're going to do project from view. And then it looks more normal here. It looks exactly like it. So to actually change the color of this, uh, we're probably going to want a green, so let's move it to green. We're going to press S to scale it down. We want to press G to move it. And we're just going to go for... Um, let's just do this. So we could just scale it down and just make it one color, but I kind of want the gradient effect. I'm just going to scale it up a bit. I'm going to press R to rotate, and then we're going to scale it up again and do that. Now, as you can see, there's nothing on it yet. So what we want to do is we want to go over here. We want to click on the material, the material properties, press new, base color, and image texture. Then you want to press over here and you want to press the color palette. Now to actually view, um, to actually view like the material, we got to go into material mode. And that's the material there. So that's it colored. Now we could make this a bit darker, but uh, I'm just gonna move on to the next part. 
So for the next part, it's the same exact process. You how to review S to scale. Now we want this brown. So we're just gonna put it. Okay, we're gonna go for the lighter here. Scale up a bit more. Okay. Now once again, new base color, image texture, color palette. And that's basically how to make Roblox terrain. Uh, I'm gonna make a whole separate video on actually how to import this, or you can just search it up on YouTube. Doesn't really matter. But that's how to make terrain in Blender.